Hey, y'all. Uh, here I go. Now, waiting on it. How y'all doing? Who's here? Hi, Millie. Hey, Ray H. Hey, Rain. I'm just writing out petitions, so that's what was taking me. I didn't want to stop in the middle of writing somebody's petition. Hey, AJ. I got hella petitions to write, to continue. I've already started um, the jars. I started putting together jars, you know. That process has already begun. So we're doing pretty well with that. What I wanted to do today is talk a little bit about this full moon. Um, because I realize I, I don't think I thought about the fact that it is a super moon. So I am moving the ritual to tomorrow, but I am prepping today. So what that means is everything that I prep today, I'm going to put outside so that it can um, charge up in this energy that is already circulating. And then tomorrow, go full regalia. I'm going to light shit up and actually do um, the ritual. So... Uh, I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Good thing is I get to work from home on Tuesday, so I can probably sleep in just a little longer and, you know, execute the ritual all night. Um, no, I actually extended the, um, extended the ritual sign up. So you still have the chance to sign up. I'm just prepping everything today. But today is the last day that you can sign up because once I prep everything today, I ain't going back to prep shit else. So I'm prepping everything today um, to get, get that ready to go. So tomorrow, all I got to do is light shit up, go to the gym, come back, or have everything ready for me to light up when I come back from the gym because I'm going to work out tomorrow. I got to work out tomorrow. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing now, as far as what this full moon is. So the full moon is in Scorpio. What you will be feeling, um, is a lot of anxiousness. Hey, Tashia, you will probably feel a lot of anxiousness because, uh, a couple planets are in conjunction with each other, um, and square each other. So yeah, you might want to just try to relax, um, do relaxing things, do things that help you release tension. Um, again, this is a full moon, so you can expect, hey, roses are red. Hey, Ali Ban. You can expect to be a little anxious, but also, you know, this is a full moon. So things are being revealed. Things are coming to the surface. Things are being shown to you at this time. So it will be up to you to make sure that you do things that help you feel grounded, to help you feel protected, to help you feel um, at peace. So that way, whatever life throws at you, whatever life throws at you, you're fine. Okay. Um, this is a good time to just get clear about your feelings, your emotions. Let them come to the surface right now. Let whatever you feel come to the surface, however you feel, let it come and just relax. You know, it is in Taurus. Taurus loves, I mean, well, not in Taurus, but we're in Taurus season. Taurus loves good food. So this is a time that maybe you can indulge a little bit, not a lot in comfort foods or things that comfort you. Taurus is about luxury. They like luxurious shit. 
they like to be comfortable. That's, that's, I mean, a Taurus, they're, you know, earth signs. So tangible things that help to bring comfort and peace to them and stability. Um, Taurus like that, likes those things. So, you know, get you a good nap, get you a good book, uh, massages, anything to help you relax, to calm the anxiety down that you may be feeling. You know, whatever comes to the surface, let it happen. Don't fight it. Just let it come. Whatever comes out, whatever's revealed to you during this time, take it as it is. Let it let it flow through you. It is an emotion. Things happen. And I'll be the first to say that I hate change. Taurus, if I'm not mistaken, is a fixed sign. <laughs> I'm a Taurus rising. So that's that on that. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, just take your time, relax, get your life together, um, release, good time for journaling, but it is a full moon. What else you should do is cleanse, cleanse yourself, cleanse your space, clean, cleanse your workplace, cleanse your crystals, put things out to charge in this full moon. Um, to release, but this is a super full moon, which also means that, you know, it's, it's supercharged. It is in Scorpio, which I've already explained what Scorpio is good for. So, um, and you might feel a little sexual tension as well. So, you know, be careful out here. Fertile times in this full moon energy, you know, if you're fucking... And you don't want no babies. You know, doing Mr. Nasty time is Mr. Nasty time. Like you can you know, keep uh, But again, fertility, um, you have to think of what Scorpio also means. Scorpio also means in the tarot deck, uh, death and rebirth, tra um, transformation. So things are changing. You can expect change. You can, you know, usher in change. Things that you want to change. You want to change new. You want to um, create new habits. This would be a time to try to set those intentions to help um, usher in new habits. Okay. So that's the full moon talk. Okay. Now I promise you guys that I would do a bath. If you are doing the ritual with me. You can do a bath tonight. You can start tonight. You can start tomorrow night, long as you start. Um, but you need to do the bath for at least three days. I always say three days because three is a magical number. Um, if you're trying to open your roads, you know, you're trying to get fertile, you're trying to get money, whatever you're trying to do, um, you know, go ahead and Get get that bath. Now keep in mind, a bath does not mean you have to get your ass in a bathtub. Bathtub. Now that you can do if you're doing like a beauty bath. If you're doing like a beauty bath or a sweetening bath, you might want to get your ass down in that water. But if you're doing like a road opener or protection or money bath or something like, well, money baths, I would I would like to get in water too, but you don't have to. Even with a beauty bath, you typically don't have to, have to, but it's nice. Okay, it's nice to do. So, um, if you're just gonna do a bath, you simply stand your ass in the bathtub. You take a shower first, then you stand your ass in the bathtub after your shower is over. Turn the water off. Hey Nadia, turn the water off. And you're going to take the bath that you prepared, okay, your spiritual bath, and you're just going to pour it all over yourself. And that is it. And you will get out of the bathtub and you will air dry. You can put your lotion and shit on, but do not dry off, air dry. Now, like I said, full moons are good for releasing things. So if you are trying to get 
you know, your rose open, let go of things, trying to release, you know, anxiety. You're trying to release people. You're trying to release thoughts or whatever. This would be the time to do these baths. I would do a releasing bath, a purification bath type thing. So today I'm going to show you a few things that you can use. Um, sorry, y'all. My braids are still tight and they itch. Okay. <sighs> few things you can use. You're trying to be fertile and usher in love, usher in, you know, stability. Always the red roses. Self-love, red roses, okay? Roses have the energy of love. Roses also have the energy of protection. If your roses so happen to have the thorns on them, cut those thorns off and you can use those when you're doing fuck shit work, okay? If your roses have the thorns on them, cut the thorns off or keep the stems of the roses with the thorns and keep the thorns so if you need to fuck somebody up, you can use the rose thorns, okay? You never throw anything away. So the roses, roses are good for love. They're also good for protection. And um, as you can see, I also got this bouquet from Walmart. I only paid $4.87 for these flowers. You don't need a whole lot because all you really need is one rose. But you can go and buy rose petals or whatever, whatever works for you. Baby's breath, baby's breath, aka master of the woods. Um, this is good. This is also a commanding herb. If you're trying to dominate somebody, you can use baby's breath. It's good for purification, good for domination, good for strength. Um, also, like I said, purification, you got to think of what the name is called baby's breath, it's innocence. Okay, so purification, strength, dominating or commanding. Okay, master of the woods is the name. So those are two things that you can use. You never throw away shit. Okay, use everything. Like I said, the thorns of the rose can be used in fuck shit work. If you need to fuck somebody up, you can use these thorns from the rose. All right, what else I got? Cinnamon. So cinnamon sticks, I put these in some of the jars. Cinnamon sticks are good for uh, for love. Hey, Hershey Bliss. Cinnamon sticks are good for love, money, um, any of that, that shit is good for, okay? Um, but you can use cinnamon sticks to sweeten things up. You have to think that how, how cinnamon works. Cinnamon or cinnamon taste, it tastes sweet, but it's a spice to it, it's spicy, right? So it's a fire element. This is a masculine, masculine herb, okay? Nothing, I'm just trying to help y'all motherfuckers out, Hershey. I ain't been doing shit, chilling, working, staying black, and minding my black fucking business. That's it. Um, so yeah, cinnamon. Cinnamon is great. All right. Cinnamon is great for money. It's good for love and speeding things up. You have to think about that. Coffee. If you have coffee, coffee is another one. Good for, there it is. Good for speeding things up, accelerating things. Good for clearing things out. Okay. Your hair falling out. What's the problem, girl? I don't know. I can't tell you shit about your hair. What the hell did you doing? Are you stressed out about something? I ain't no dermatologist, baby. I can't tell you. I don't know if you got alopecia or not. Um, so coffee speeds up things. If you are allergic to um Black walnuts, which black walnuts are good for cutting cords, okay? So if you are allergic to black walnuts, um, black walnut hulls, you can use coffee as an alternate to cut cords, okay? Coffee, lemon balm, things like that. Um, What else? So... 
I told y'all I was writing in intentions, so I really did not prepare all of the ingredients. So we're gonna take a little trip. <laughs> we're gonna take a little trip to get shit throughout my house because I got shit going everywhere right now. I do this every time I'm doing a ritual. So we're gonna go outside to my deck. I'll, I'll show y'all what's out here. This, this is my backyard. So I get to like feed shit, ducks and stuff. Anyway, so I like the lake in the mornings. Problem is the fucking mosquitoes. Mosquitoes will pick you up and take you out. Now, so we're back here in my little on my uh, my deck and I have growing some lavender I don't know if y'all can see this but I have growing lavender I have some lemon balm I have some rosemary lavender lemon balm rosemary mint this is um Echinacea. This is my citronella that I just got yesterday. This is lemon balm. This is some mint. And then I have some basil. This is actually cinnamon basil. So double whammy. Cinnamon basil, chocolate mint, and this is more citronella. So we can use that. Um, yes, y'all know I'm a water baby, a moon baby, water baby, but I don't like I don't like nothing like coming up near my feet, sis, if I'm in the water. So if a fish come up to me, I'm getting out. We ain't doing that. Nothing. Okay. Um, but yeah, so also tonight. And tomorrow, put out what I tell you during full moons, make an offering to the moon. So, full moons, honey, and milk. And put that outside. Okay. Um, at the crossroads, you can lay a almond joy at the crossroads. Why? Because of the coconut. If you don't have coconut, you can go to the store and get dried coconut. You can get an almond joy and leave it at the crossroads. All right. I'm bare feet. Okay. Barefoot. I don't know, shoes on. And I'm outside. Becoming one with the earth. I have yet to use that fire pit, but I, I, I reckon I'll use it at some point. I definitely plan to uh, do some adult things out there on that deck in front of the water. Okay. I'm bust it open for somebody on the water out there and one day. I just don't know when. Um, whenever they come into my life. So, um, what else I got? So, I went to Walmart today this morning now so the first thing you want to do first thing you want to do is to cleanse your house all right i'm now in my living room all right so the first thing you want to do is cleanse your house so why do you need to cleanse you need to release any energy that is in your house if you're trying to bring new things in Release the energy that is in your house. Okay. Um, hey, roses are red. So what do we do? Well, pine salt. Pine salt. You can use ammonia to cleanse. Pine salt. Pine salt. It's double duty. I had the purple pine saw. I had to go to the store and get regular pine saw. So pine saw 
because it has pine oil in it. Pine helps to clear and break up things. Also, if you are doing a road opener, if you're doing blockbuster, cord cutting, you can use pine needles. Pine is also good for money. Okay? So, pine saw to remove shit. Remember, it's about intention. Remove shit or help to bring shit in. Ammonia to remove shit. You can add some lemon to this, some fresh lemon to this ammonia. Wipe down your floors and whatever else in your house to get the energy up out of there and remove it. Okay. Now, what else? I was fortunate enough today to find an actual coconut. Now, like I said, coconut is good for purification, protection, stuff like that. So, I bought two coconuts. Hey, Nakia. I got two coconuts. Coconut to cleanse myself with. So, what I'm going to do with one coconut is literally take it and wipe my entire body with it. Whenever I do work for y'all, I always have to cleanse myself first. Okay? I cleanse myself first. So, I'm going to cleanse myself a couple times, a couple ways. Coconut, but, uh, coconut. what I'm going to do is take this coconut, literally run it all over my body, my naked body, to pull anything that does not belong to me off of me. Yes, it is like an egg cleanse. Pull it off of me. And then what I will do is take this coconut and take it to a crossroads and throw it over my shoulder and go in the opposite direction. Okay. So I'm going to throw this and it'll probably break as soon as it hits the ground, but throw it over my shoulder and, and leave it at a crossroads. Coconut. And if you hear it, you hear the coconut water in there. So what else? I got a second coconut just for that. Okay. So with the other coconut, I'm going to bust that one open, take the, the water out and pour it into my bath. I'm going to do a coconut cleansing bath. Also, you can pour it into your floor wash. So with my coconut, I'm going to take part of the, the coconut and the water and put it in my floor wash, put some in my bath. Okay. So if you don't have the luxury of finding a whole coconut, which I found this in Walmart, you can find them in Walmart. You can find them in international food markets. Uh, with the weather changing, you might probably be able to find these a little bit more, but it's up to your area. So coconut, what else do I have? Show me more, Toya. Show will. Lemons. Okay. Lemons. Sprouts. You don't have a sprout down here. So lemons are good for clearing up shit. You keep lemons in your house. If you keep lemons, what you can do is cleanse the lemon. Cleanse the lemon and I'm going to sit this down right here. So I don't have to hold it. So you can cleanse the lemon, cleanse the lemons and use it, um, of course, in your floor wash, in your row opening bath to remove things. Lemons help to remove things. So if you don't have lemon balm or, you know, lemon grass, a red glass lemon to remove shit and break shit up. Okay. So to uncross yourself, unhex yourself. A lemon bath could do it. Keep you a bag of lemons. The other thing you can do to help keep your house from having so much negativity, take a lemon, cleanse it, use some Florida water if you want, cleanse the lemon, sit it in a corner of your house, okay? Sit one in each corner of your house. If the lemon goes bad pretty quickly, if it starts to, you know, rot or mold or any of that, that lets you know that it's connect has collected negative energy out of your house, your house. Okay. So that's having lemons and limes in your house and letting them sit 
in certain areas in your house, they will help to collect and remove negative energy. And you know it's bad if the shit goes bad quickly. If the lemon goes bad, bad after a couple days, you know you need to cleanse your house. All right? So, uh, lemons, keep them on deck. Keep at least two on deck in your house. What else I got in here? What else we got in here? I told y'all, coconut. Okay? If you can't get a whole coconut, get you the coconut flakes. These are organic and sweetened coconut flakes. They can go good in your bath. Again, coconut is good for releasing and cleansing shit like that. What else I got in here? Goat's milk. This is powdered goat's milk. Um, I typically prefer lemons. Limes have a different intention, um, but they can. Some people use them interchangeably. I don't. I use lemons strictly for removal, removal of things. Sometimes limes can be used for love, too. So... Um, but goat's milk, cleansing, okay, purification. Think of in the Bible, the lamb. Okay, so goat's milk, the lamb represented what innocence, purification. What does a goat milk what does goat milk do? Same shit. This is powdered goat milk. You can get liquid goat milk, it does not matter, but its purpose is to purify. So you can use a little goat milk in your bath. Milk baths are great. You can do what we call a white bath. A white bath with goat's milk, lavender, rosemary um, to help cleanse you, help to bring peace into your life. You can do that. Okay. Typically, we use white roses as well. Peace. But goat's milk. What else I got in here? Coconut milk. Same thing. It's coconut. Coconut milk. See, I try to keep all this shit on deck. You got to keep staples. These are staples. Household staples as a witch. You always keep you some rosemary, bay leaves, or Italian seasoning in your house. You can do a lot with just those things. Okay. Milk always, ammonia always, vinegar always, lemons always, things that you always need or simple shit that you can do with just those things. What else I got in here? Vinegar. Just for jarring bitches, you know. I will jar your ass with some vinegar. Put your ass right in that motherfucking jar. Act up. See vinegar? I actually had ran out of vinegar and um ammonia, which is why I bought it today. That keeps it on deck. Limes. These are key limes, but I'll explain those for health purposes. And these are regular regular limes. So people Never understand the difference between a key lime and a regular lime. Okay. Let me show you the difference. There is a visible difference between key limes and regular limes. This is a key lime. Look how big compared to a regular. This is a regular lime and this is a key lime. See the difference in how the size. Key limes are great in the morning before you eat anything. Take some key limes and squeeze it in a cup and take a shot of key lime juice to help to reduce the mucus in your body. Um, vinegar is also great, a great uh, thing to do in the morning. Take a shot of vinegar that helps with um, mucus, that helps with um, digestion, okay? Aloe is aloe, your aloe plant is totally dead. Okay, well, you got to get another one. Aloes are good for protection. So that just lets you know there's something wrong with your aloe. I mean, something wrong with your house. Also, because um, aloe is good for protection, also good for money. 
So if your aloe is dead, that just says something about what's in your house. And maybe your, uh, and you have to, aloe can die too if you overwater it. Keep in mind, aloe is like a succulent. So they don't need a whole lot of water and shit. Okay. They don't need a whole lot of attention. But aloe is good for protection. Aloe is also good for money. Put some red ribbons around the tips. And aloe, you know, is if say, say you're in the office and you're trying to make a way to um that period you lost your job. See? Um, say you're in the office and you don't know how to put up some protection in your office. Aloe plants, snake plants. Very good plants to use as protection in your office to keep fuck shit away from you at work. Especially if you have your own space. Other than that, you can put, get your little diffuser, little air diffuser. And like you put your little essential oils in there, you can put your little protection oil in, in your diffuser. You can put a little Florida water in your diffuser. To cleanse your office. That's what I typically do around full moons. I go in my office, pour some little Florida water in my diffuser, turn that bitch on for the day, and I will watch people literally walk past my office and call my name because they cannot come in. If their energy is right, my office automatically goes into lockdown um, when I put my protection oil in. And um, my protection oil and Florida water in my diffuser. People will walk past my office and talk to me, but they will not step foot or cross that threshold if their energy is off. They can't do it. They'll call, they'll email. Bitch, why are you emailing me? Your office is right next door. All you have to do is come out of your office and into mine. They don't do that because the energy is off and they can't get past my protection. Anywho, just a little FYI for y'all. So lemon, I mean limes. Like I said, you can keep limes and lemons in your home to help um, absorb the negative energy that may be in your home. If the limes and lemons go bad really quickly, you need to do a, a major cleanse of your home. And when I say quickly, I mean, because, you know, lemons and limes can last for a week. They don't have uh, at least two weeks. They don't have to be in a the refrigerator. They are fruits that stay out. They like the heat. They like to be room temperature. So you don't have to put them in a the refrigerator. So if you're leaving these fruits out and they're already going dark and bad within a day or two, you need to cleanse your motherfucking house. All right. Let's see what else I got in the bag. Lysol, bitch. Lysol. Why? Because they were on sale and I saw some, so I got three of them. They were five dollars a piece. Five, five sixty six. I saw them in the store. You know, keeping them germs. Bye, Corona. Cause I ain't getting no. Uh, I ain't getting no Corona vaccine anytime soon. So just in case I got Corona, bitch. Get your ass away from me, bitch. Okay? Coughing and shit. That's why I got that's why I got Lysol. Um, but that has nothing to do with this bath tutorial. Nothing. Okay. So that's all that I got in my bag. Apparently, it was just a list of light sauce last thing. My watermelon, I'm going to eat that. That's just for me to eat. Why? Because watermelon is good for the heart chakra. It's also good um, for as a diuretic. So it can cleanse, your, cleanse that extra water out your system. You'll be a pissy somebody, but you know... Watermelon is good. You won't retain, you know, water weight and water fluid and shit like that. And it's a good snack. So now that you've seen all the things that go that you can use right out of the grocery store, I hope you use them. Okay. Use them. Um, 
It's for a bath. Now, I just told y'all what to put in the bath. For your bath, you can use baby's breath. So if you buy a rose bouquet and it has baby's breath in it, take it and let it dry out. The same thing with rose petals. Let it dry out. Take it and let them dry out. Rinse them off though, because you know, they have a little pesticides and shit in them. So you want to rinse them off and then dry them out. You can let them dry out. Sometimes one way to help dry them out is to put them in the oven on like 200, put it on some, um, on like a cookie sheet with some, um, aluminum foil and put it in the oven and let it like sit in there for a couple, maybe 10 minutes or so. And let it, you'll, you'll see it dry out. And then you can use the dried versions and keep, keep the roses in baby's breath for future use. So then you don't always have to buy roses if you dry them motherfuckers out. Okay. Just put them in the oven for like, you know, 10, 10, 15 minutes on 200 and that will dry them out and you can have dried roses to use in your work. Um, in the future, you don't have to keep buying roses. You just keep what you have. Um, coconut. Okay. Coconut, roses, lemons, um, cinnamon, rosemary, lavender, bay leaves, lemon balm. Also, if you want to plant your herbs, this will be the time to go out and buy them. You know why? Because the nurseries have put their them out. For one, some of these plants keep away mosquitoes and bugs, i.e. rosemary, mint, basil, lemon balm. All are mosquito fighters. So if you don't like mosquitoes, go get you some lavender, some rosemary, some mint, lemon balm. They have lemon balm in the stores now. Lemon balm, again, is good for opening roads, taking shit off of you. Rosemary. Rosemary is good for love. Rosemary is good for protection, good for money. Um, mint, good for protection, good for money. Lavender, great for peace. Friendship. These are things that you can have access to. Grow that shit yourself. It's just a little herb garden. It's nothing. You can grow that shit right in your windowsill. You don't need a whole lot of space for it. Okay. So, um, and knowing that, make sure you use it. Now, um, do y'all actually want to see me do a bath? Like, put the water? I mean, shit, there's nothing to it. You put the shit in the water. In the pot. Get a big ass pot. Put shit in the water. Anything else? Okay. Yeah. Yes, no, maybe so. Y'all good? I just told y'all what to put in it. Oranges. Also, I forgot my oranges. But I have orange essential oil and I have orange uh, blossom. So oranges are good for attraction. Roll opening. Stuff like that. So you can also use oranges along with the lemons. I don't even know who the fuck outside, but they just too loud for me. Oh. My neighbors. I hope this bitch don't come knock on my door because I don't know who that is, but don't knock on my door, bitch. I'm not going to um, entertain your ass today because she looked like she's selling something. <sighs> okay. Oh, what psalms to use? Good for cord cutting, coffee, lemon, lemon balm, pine. All those are good for cord cutting. Almond Joy to the Crossroads. All of my mini appliances up there. All of my little stuff. Um, 
I got this thing. I'm going to use it for candles. It's like a metal. So it's good for candles. I'm going to put my candles in this to let my candles burn because it's metal. It's a metal plate. Okay. Nice size metal plate. Sometimes I use a cookie sheet. If you don't have one of these. Got it from Walmart. Nine dollars. Why I set it on my stove, I'm not sure. But whatever. Other thing I got is the matching metal bowl. Feels more like plastic to me, but it's supposed to be metal. Yeah, it says a metal serving bowl. This shit better be metal. Um, but the bowl, I, I'm using this. So when I burn like my ancestor money, my money, my intentions, uh, anything that I need to burn, I'm going to burn it in this bowl. Why? Because my cauldron is too small. So I wanted something a little bit bigger that can help uh, hold my flames because my flames get big um, when I'm burning shit. So if you wanted these, they were like $9.98 at Walmart. All right, when you need to burn up shit, you can use these fucking bowls. I'm about to eat one of these arm joys because I got two. But I'm going to eat a piece right now. Because um, I don't spell bad anymore. Mm hmm. Milk and honey to the moon, yes. What else y'all want to know? I just gave y'all the keys. If you're doing a ritual with me, you already know. But remember, cleanse yourself first. You can put all of the herbs that you want in the bath together with the intention to cleanse and to bring in whatever else. Does the almond joy sit on any? No. I just go where people are less likely to see it. If I'm at a busy crossroads, I put it somewhere where people wouldn't mess with it. Because my new favorite crossroads is up there where three banks are on each corner. That's my new spot. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Also... Make sure you make an offering to your ancestors tonight and tomorrow. An offering. It can be a food offering. It can be a music offering. It can be libations. It can be coffee. Flowers. Money. If you um do if you know to do the ritual with me, you already know I make an offering to your ancestors on your behalf with ancestor money. But you still need to make one too. So make sure you're making an offering to your ancestors on this full moon. Milk and honey outdoors offering to your ancestors. Doesn't matter how big or small. Offering at the crossroads. Got it? If you are in relationships, some warm grapeseed oil. I got grapeseed oil. Yeah, right here. Keep that thing on me. I warm some up and put it in there in my little drip drip drips. 
Um, but yeah, y'all noticed that my ceiling is all white again. I had it painted from the last time. We almost burnt down the kitchen with my ritual. That won't be happening this time. We're going to pray on that. Because this is a powerful moon. Which is why I moved it to tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so make your offerings, get your baths, cleanse yourself. Remember, you want to cleanse yourself. You want to welcome things in. I told you what to use in a floor wash. You can use any of those things in a floor wash. You can use um, all of those things in the floor wash if you want to. Don't play with me. Um, yeah, you can put them in a floor wash. You can do a bath. You do your bath for three days. All right. You can start tonight. You can start tomorrow. But it needs to happen in this full moon energy. The sooner the better. Okay. So, um, that is it. That is all. Because uh, I'm going to just send this email with this video link. So, if you signed up for a ritual or anything like that, you can read this email. Uh, I mean, you can watch this video with this link and see what I say to use. Um, but if you have other herbs, in your your herb stash if you bought other herbs from me um in the herb package because it's like five herbs for fifteen dollars and i send you the different herbs based on your intentions um you can use those herbs too it does not have to be the herbs that i said but i'm telling you these herbs because they are easily accessible you can go right to the grocery store Oh, the Psalm, 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 Psalm 7. Psalm 7 is good for breaking hexes, opening roads, and also court cases. Uh, Psalms 1 and Psalms 2 are very good for protection. Psalms 23 is also good for protection. Psalm 17, uh, Psalm 17 is good for court cutting. I can't remember exactly what verses. Um, Psalm 26 is good for money. Psalm 72 is good for money. Psalm 65 for good luck. Psalms 111 for love. Um, that verse from Corinthians, uh, the first Corinthians love is, love is this and love is that and love is this. That's also a good, that's not a song, but it's a really good Psalm to you. Psalm 63 is what, Nakia? Um, Psalm 119 to attract money. Wait, is that Psalm 119? Psalm 119. I think I gotta look it up. Um what else? What else we doing? A court case, row opener. Protection, love, money. Mm. What else? Anything else? Court cutting is um. I think Psalm. I think it's Psalm seventeen, verses one through three, is for court cutting. Um. I don't know. Any other song that I missed? Any other songs? For good luck, Psalm 65. For good luck. Mm hmm. But yeah, I think that's it. Nothing else? Anything else? Anything else? You're welcome. Now, um, if you have signed up for the ritual, expect an email, I guess, in the next hour or so. 
Um, if you want to sign up for a ritual, if you want to sign up for a jar, you still have time. I'm prepping things today. Come this evening, I'm going to start prepping shit. So if you want to get in, get in where you fit in, i.e. do it now. Okay. If you want to get another jar or another service, sign up now. I will be closing this shit out at, I guess, about 7 or 8 o'clock is the last that you can do any of this because the ritual will be tomorrow. I will take some picture and some some pictures and some um, video of the ritual. Like, I'm not going live. I've stopped going live because I'm trying to get work done for people. And it takes a lot for me to, for one, focus. I need to focus. And I need to be comfortable, and I don't want to feel everybody's energy as I'm doing stuff anymore. So, just mine, just my energy. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, I'll just send you the video and photos of the ritual once I'm done. Once I, all the candles are pretty much burnt out. I'll send those pictures so you can look at them and see what figures you see. Um, so far, when I've done these, uh, pull these cards on these jars, mostly everyone has been, you know, allowed to get a jar done. So everybody's in good shape. So far, so good. Yeah. But okay. All right then. Well, that was quick. Probably the fastest I've ever gone on here. Um, also, you can't use Florida water in your bath. So I forgot if I forgot to say that. If you have Florida water, you can use it in your bath. I will be making a new batch of Florida water very, very soon. So Florida water again is good for purification purification as well as protection. So, yeah, I'll be making a new batch of Florida water sooner, very soon. All right, guys. Um, I think that's all for now. I'm going to get back to work. I just want to jump on and tell you what to do so you have some direction. And um, I'm going to talk to you all a little later. If you have done or signed up for the ritual, then you already know. But if you're signing up for a jar or a ritual, make sure that, you know, you sign up now. Oh, also, let me say this. Y'all, these jars are being mailed to you. The price of the jar is $35. The shipping is $8. Some of y'all chose local pickup. Y'all ass don't live nowhere near here. Okay, so that means you need to go back and pay for the shipping. You can pay for the shipping by simply cash apping me to $8. Shipping is not free. The cost of the jar is $35. To ship it is $8. Some of y'all chose local pickup, knowing damn well y'all do not live locally. That shit does not ship for free. That $35 fee is the $35 for me to do your jar. So... If you know you did not pay the $8 to have your jar shipped to you, I will do your jar and then it will sit here until you send the $8. I'm not paying for everybody's jar to get shipped. I got like 10 jars. So if I pay everybody's jar, no, we're not doing that. So. If you know, go back and look at the email to see what you paid for. And you can, because it tells you on your receipt whether or not you chose local pickup or delivery, which is $8. It will say that, okay? The jar was $35. Okay, the jar was $35 for me to do the work. And then it was $8. For the shipping. Got it? Good. Um, my 
my PayPal, my my PayPal and my Cash App. So Cash App is Oh shit. Come on. Okay. Cash app is Yank and Glow, and then PayPal is paypal.me slash Yank and Glow. Because I had like four or five people who chose local pickup, and there's only one because I owed her something that I said. I would ship her stuff for free. Other than that, everybody else, if your ass chose local pickup and you know damn well you do not live in Norfolk, Hampton, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Suffolk, Portsmouth, Williamsburg. Am I missing somebody? Newport News. You don't live in those areas. You need to be paying for your shipping. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go this time. I will talk to y'all later. Okay. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching. No, not NYC either. Better be somewhere close. <laughs>